Well, we have software in three different tracks. We have a closed beta, an open beta, and stable over-the-air updates. Our closed beta program has more than 400 users. Our open beta, more than 80,000. And our stable over-the-air updates are sent to more than 10 million users worldwide. And each update is actually vetted by a previous group before it gets released. So for, before a regular user sees something, it has to be first tested and improved upon by our closed beta users and our open beta users. And we've collected more than 77 pieces of feedback and incorporated those into 115 stable software updates across all our devices. And feedback, it can come in many different ways. So apart from our online community and our customer service channel, we frequently host offline events where we meet our users and talk about how we can improve the products together. We call these open ears forums, and here's one we recently did in Amsterdam in July. It was a great success. Our community told us that they wanted more camera customization options, a better video mode, and also making settings easier to find. So that's how we work with feedback. Next, I want to show you how we use all this feedback into building a better software together with our community, Oxygen OS 10. But first, let's take a step back. Why was Oxygen OS born? We built Oxygen to solve what was wrong with the smartphone operating systems on the market. They were complicated to use, they were laggy, and they often had bloatware. Instead, Oxygen OS was designed to be simple, to be seamless, and clean. For us, a seamless user experience should be both smooth and fluid. So every swipe, every scroll, and every tap should be enjoyable, comfortable, and effortless. In Oxygen OS 10, we've recreated and improved upon over 150 system animations to leverage our new 90 hertz refresh rates. So here's a video of some of our full screen gestures. And you can see that even when slowed down, everything just glides smoothly. We've also improved our unlocking animation. Before, when you unlocked your phone, it would instantly go into your home screen. It was a little bit of a jarring experience. So in the new version, we've made it so that the unlock animation fades away slowly. It's much more comfortable. And it's not just about animations. Interaction design is also really important. So picture this. You're watching a video in landscape mode, and you want to switch between apps. Previously, you had to go back to portrait mode, choose your app, and then come back to landscape mode. In the new version of Oxygen OS, you no longer have to do that. You can multitask and switch between apps, all while remaining in landscape mode. Thank you. Now let's talk about some of the new features in Oxygen OS 10 features that were shaped together with our community. As smartphone users, we constantly get bombarded with messages and notifications. This feeling of being always on, it can be a little bit exhausting, right? And that's why we designed Zen Mode, to help you focus on what really matters to you. And ever since its release, our users have been using Zen Mode to help them sleep better, to help them meditate, and students are using it to cut out distractions so they can focus on their studies. Previously, each session of Zen Mode lasted for 20 minutes. However, we heard from you guys that you wanted more options. So in the new Zen Mode, there's options for 20, 30, 40, and 60 minutes. And with over 30% of Zen Mode users using it at least once a week, we believe that this simple change it's going to improve the user experience for a lot of people out there. And you might be wondering, it's strange for a smartphone company to stand here and tell you to use your smartphone less, right? But we believe that you have to put the user's interest at the heart of everything you do, because that's the only way to build a good software experience. Next, let's talk about our gallery. 
our new and enhanced gallery can now automatically categorize your photos for you based on the context, the people it recognizes, or the different locations. And the best part about this is that it's all done locally on your device. So no data ever gets sent to any server, which means your privacy is always guaranteed. Thank you. And customization has always been key to Oxygen OS. This time around, we simplified it. And now you can find all your customization options easily in one place. So I'm talking about wallpapers, clock styles, and yes, dark mode. People love dark mode, huh? You can also customize your horizon light. Horizon light leverages the curved edges of our screens to show your notifications in a very sleek way. But you guys asked for more colors. So now you have four colors to choose from in your horizon light. And uh, here's something cool that we've been working on and that we're releasing soon. See, our community is spread all over the world. So we wanted to make it easier for you guys to communicate with each other across different languages. So we've been working on a real-time translation feature. So when you're video calling somebody in another language, you'll see subtitles in your mother tongue underneath them. Isn't that cool? Thank you. We'll be sharing more details soon. Android updates, they're key to our users, and therefore also key to us. At OnePlus, we provide you with, with two years of Android updates and three years of security updates. And we're also one of the fastest smartphone manufacturers to update the latest version of Android. So just a couple of examples. It took us only 18 days to update the OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro to the new Android 10 beta. And it took us just 46 days to update the OnePlus 6 and 6T to Android P when it first came out. So I'm proud to announce that OnePlus will be the first manufacturer to be shipping Android 10 out of the box. We've been working closely with Google to bring you Oxygen OS 10 and Android 10 starting from day one. Next, I'd like to welcome Andre Popescu, Director of Engineering at Google, to tell you all about Android 10. Please give him a warm welcome. Cool. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for coming here. I'm absolutely blown away to see so many of you here. I'm, I'm incredibly happy and grateful to all of you for coming. Um, I'm Andre Popescu. Um, I lead the Android engineering team in London. I'm not sure that many of you know, but um, a significant part of Android is built by our engineering team in London in collaboration with our colleagues in, uh, in Mountain View. Um, as Carl mentioned, um, it's incredibly exciting that OnePlus will ship uh, with Android 10 uh, directly out of the box. And I'm here to tell you a little bit more about what Android 10 is, a, is about. Um, it, Android 10, of course, is our latest version of the Android operating system, uh, and it's shipped only a couple of weeks ago or so. Its main focus relies around three themes, helpful innovation, privacy and security, and digital well-being. Let me tell you a bit more about each of those. Now, helpful innovation uh, is all about making your lives easier and simpler when using an Android device. This is, we do this in Android 10 using features that use on-device machine learning. One example is uh, the smart reply feature. This is very useful when you get a, a message uh, and you get a notification on your phone. Uh, the phone will use machine learning running on-device to predict possible responses, possible actions that you might take in response to that notification. For instance, uh, if the message that you are getting contains an address, the phone will very helpfully suggest 
opening uh, Google Maps directly and showing you the location of that address directly on a map. This saves you having to click on the notification, go into that app, copying the text and pasting into Maps. It's a very, very cool example of, of helpful innovation. Um, another feature that we uh, launched in Android 10 is Dark Theme. This is a system-wide theme that is not only easier on your eyes, but is also easier on the phone battery. And then finally, um, another example of helpful innovation is our system-wide gesture navigation uh, system. Uh, this is, uh, allows you to navigate the entire user interface of the device with very simple gestures. You can swipe from the left to go backwards, you can pull up from the bottom to go to the home screen, or you can use a very simple gesture to easily and fluidly navigate between tasks. Security and privacy, um, we're very proud that we have a, a long history of developing and shipping industry-first features that protect uh, our users' privacy and security. Android 10 is no different in this respect. We have over 50 new features and changes to the operating system that are meant to preserve users' privacy and security. Uh, one example is around transparency and more fine granular control over how you share and how users share location information with applications. For instance, you can go to settings and view which applications have access to your location. And when, a, when an application requests location, you can choose to grant location only when you use that application in the foreground, or you can choose to grant location when the application is running in the background, or you can just deny it. Um, what's also very interesting is that the operating system now will notify you when apps that you haven't used in a while are accessing your location in the background. Perhaps you want to take an action and review whether you still want to share location with that application. And the third theme is around digital well-being. This is about Android 10 helping you achieve a healthy balance when it comes to your usage of the, of the phone. We do this through a set of tools, such as a dashboard that allows you to see your uh, usage patterns, allows you to see how, what apps you're using and for how long, and it also allows you to set up uh, time limits for particular applications and, uh, and websites. At the same time, we introduced Family Link, which allows parents to set ground rules for digital usage of, uh, of, of devices across the whole family. So to recap, Android 10 is all about helpful innovation, pr privacy and security, and digital well-being. Again, I'd like to thank OnePlus for the incredible collaboration. Um, it's absolutely amazing that they are able to, to, to ship um, Android 10 out of the box on a device uh, only weeks after we shipped a new version of the operating system. Uh, so thank you, and I'll hand it back to Carl now. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Andre. Our collaboration with Google doesn't stop there. In Oxygen OS 10, Google Lens is built in for an even better search experience. And for those of you yet to discover it, it's an incredible image recognition technology that allows you to search for something by simply pointing your camera at it. So that's Oxygen OS 10, and here are some of its highlight features. It's a smooth and seamless experience. An improved Zen mode gives you more options. There's a new, smarter gallery that also respects your privacy, and customization is easier than before. Oh, and it ships with Android 10. At OnePlus, we want to make quality products that stand the test of time and are committed to updating our older devices so you can enjoy them for longer. So I'm proud to announce that we'll be shipping Android Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 to devices going back as far as the OnePlus 5. Thank you. Last month, we started rolling out Oxygen OS 10 to 7 and 7 Pro users. And this month, 6 and 6T users are going to see the update. 5 and 5T users will see it in Q2 next year. We're excited for you to try it out, and please do let us know what you think. And now, I'd like to invite 
Akis up on stage to tell you all about the OnePlus 7T series. Welcome. Hi, everyone. So, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> let's get the party started with the OnePlus 7T. Now, I know most of you have already heard about a new flagship in the last couple of weeks, but we are incredibly proud of it. So I would like to take this opportunity to tell you more about it. This is it, the OnePlus 7T. And I'm happy to announce that it will officially launch here in Europe on October 17th. And this, you see, is the real deal. Every feature and detail. We actually work hard on getting everything just right to make the fastest and smoothest flagship around. But don't take my word for it. We had a few, few selective tech reviewers who were giving the chance to test the device. And here is what they had to say. I'm not sure anything can touch this combination of display, performance, and price from The Verge. The OnePlus 7T is astonishingly good from Delhi Express. And finally, it doesn't scroll it glides from stuff. Speaking of which, let's talk a bit about the display. So um, there's been much talk about 90 hertz refresh rate ever since we unveiled the OnePlus 7 Pro back in May. Since then, 90 hertz has quickly become the new industry's benchmark. Whether it's media or consumers, once people have experienced 90 hertz, they simply never want to go back to before. And actually, we've put a video together just about that. This screen is all about the refresh rate. 90 frames per second. Buttery smooth. Super smooth when you're swiping through things. The most responsive, snappy, fluid phone I've ever used. A killer screen. This is an incredible display. This is a gorgeous display. The OnePlus 7 Pro is a major, major, major go. So 90 hertz fluid display is really not something you can easily forget. But what does it actually mean? Well, actually, simple terms. Refresh rate measured in hertz is the number of time a screen redraws an image. So the higher refresh rate, the less motion blur, and the significantly clearer image quality. You see, most phones out there have 60 hertz screens. But with the OnePlus 90 hertz screens, don't just scroll through app, photos, or web pages. You fly, literally. And there is more. While gaming, it's super smooth with lag-free graphics to really give you the competitive edge. And as a result, it also makes it much easier on your eyes. Let's show you what we mean. So first, with 30 hertz, see the movement of the ball? It's quite broken, right? Then 60 hertz. OK, it gets better. 
and then 90 hertz. Boom. Look how super smooth it is. So basically, in a nutshell, this ultra-high refresh rate integrated across the whole software experience makes every swipe, tap, movement of the screen super smooth. It basically changes the way you interact with your smartphone as it becomes seamlessly responsive. And you see, all of this is quite important because Europeans spend on average more than four hours a day or the equivalent of 180 meters scrolling on their first smartphone. So if you're going to scroll that much, it's far better to do it in the smoothest way possible, right? And so this is why we are bringing 90 hertz to the brand new OnePlus 7T. So it's smoother like never before. But why tell you what I can actually show you? This is the 90 hertz fluid display from OnePlus. So, what else makes this display so special? Well, it's based on the new generation of AMOLED that produces better color accuracy and can go as bright as 1,000 nits. That's a 43% increase compared to the OnePlus 7 or YouTube. Perfect in hand. And this leads us nicely onto the design. So we're introducing two new finishes, glacier blue and frosted silver, inspired by water and ice, and both available in our signature matte frosted glass. And speaking of which, it's early 2015 that our industrial design team started researching on matte frosted glass. We discover by combining glass with the matte finish, you get this very cool silky feel. Then after years of refinement, we finally introduced this finish with the OnePlus 6. And it was the first time in the industry it had been combined with the curved glass. And the response was simply amazing. So since then, we really kept it on perfecting it. And now, it's cool to see that more and more smartphone manufacturers are following this trend. I mean, as I say, everyone wants a bite of the apple, right? Next up, let's talk about the camera. So no doubt by now, you've all noticed that the OnePlus 7T features a circular camera layout. It's a new thing for us. Basically gives us a fresh way to integrate all camera modules in a more coherent way. And as no detail is too, no detail is too small to be perfected in OnePlus, as you can see, we made sure to use the same color palette on the ring so it matches the chassis. But more importantly, we now have a triple camera setup that is the most powerful camera system we have ever designed. It consists of a 117 degrees ultra wide angle lens, a 48 megapixel main camera, and a 51 millimeter telephoto lens. 
Our improved nightscape mode is, of course, available on the main camera, but also for the first time when using the ultra-wide angle. And on top of this, we've added a very cool macro mode. It basically gives you an entire new perspective to things. Look at this. The amount of detail you are able to get, things that you can't even see with naked eyes, right? And finally, all three cameras come with video shooting capability, including with the wide angle. <laughs> Understand the response. Because initially, this wasn't planned. I remember when we launched the OnePlus 7 Pro, everyone was asking for it. And in France, actually, I had this uh, sort of friendly argument with one of the biggest tech YouTubers there, Jojo. And he was like, Agis, come on. How come you guys have a wide angle lens but it can be used to do video shooting? And to be honest, at the time, we just didn't think it was something people really wanted. But it turned out we're wrong. We started asking on our forums, and actually, Jojo was so convinced that he ran a poll across all his social media. And as you can see, the end result was actually overwhelming. So here we are, a few months later, with this cool new feature. I mean, that's exactly what OnePlus is all about. So this time, I want to do things a bit differently. So in order to really show you what the OnePlus 7T can do, I decided to share with you today my experience from an end user perspective. So I took it with me on my holidays to the States just a few weeks ago. And here are some of the shots I took. This is Antelope Canyon and a horseshoe in Arizona. I mean, the perfect backdrops to show you what the wide angle lens can do. And actually, the lightning conditions were super challenging due to the dark surrounding and the intense bike lighting. But actually, quite, I was quite astonished by the output, especially the dynamic range. Thanks to UltraShot that leverages HDR technology, I was actually able to achieve a very, very nice dynamic range. And despite being right against the sun, as you can see. And detail is spectacular. Here on the left image, at the top, you can even see a plane's exhaust trail. And here is a shot taken in Bryce Canyon. Thanks to the ultra shot, you get an incredible perspective. I mean, when you look at this picture, it's like you were there, right? And here is another one at Monument Valley. Honestly, who would have thought that the smartphone camera could achieve this level of quality? And so the three lenses switch quite seamlessly, so you can find the most creative angle and capture the best shot every single time. Like here, for instance, with the telephoto lens. Like Boom. I did propose during this trip, for the record, she said yes. <laughs> Thank you. But you can see how close you can get to the ring and all the amount of details you're able to see thanks to the macro shot. She said yes, yeah. You got it. <laughs> Oh, and finally, here's another cool feature we're introducing. Super video stabilization. I mean, the result is crazy. It's like you're actually using a gimbal. Let's see this feature in action. Here is a shot in a video I shot by literally holding the phone out of the rooftop. And you can see, just in a bit, how the vehicle is actually moving, while the image is super steady. Great stuff, right? Okay, now, 
let's have a look on the inside of the OnePlus 7T. I mean, you all know by now, OnePlus is all about performance. And the OnePlus 7T doesn't disappoint. At its heart is a brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus platform, which delivers 15% faster graphic performance compared to its predecessor. And it also comes with UFS 3.0. And of course, we have to talk about charging. Back in May, we introduced Web Charge 30 with the OnePlus 7 Pro. And for those of you who use it, know how fast it is. Cool, my man. <laughs> well, great news. Not only is coming to the OnePlus 70, but we've also made a few upgrades. And we are now introducing Warp Charge 30T, which is 23% faster. Oh, and here is a cool thing. Last week in Europe, we introduced Warp Charge 30T installed. That's the least we can say. We had an SOS Warp Charge team, so we could tackle all those battery emergencies we all get from time to time. Here is a video. As you can see, as you can see, the OnePlus rescue vehicle saved the day. And next, to help you provide the most immersive experience as possible, the OnePlus 70 has stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos technology, so you will enjoy an amazing sound quality. Finally, the OnePlus 70 comes with an improved haptic feedback powered by a linear motor that's giving you an ultra-responsive feel, and especially while you game. So as you know, we are here to talk about the OnePlus 7T series. So naturally, there's going to be a pro version, right? I mean, who can forget the OnePlus 7 Pro? After all, it's arguably the finest smartphone around and at this very moment in time. Praise has pretty much been universal. Here is just one quote that sums up the OnePlus 7 Pro just perfectly. From my man Lewis of Unbox Therapy. The OnePlus 7 Pro is the best smartphone overall. <laughs> But at OnePlus, as you know, we never settle. And I'm happy to tell you that the OnePlus 7 Pro is also getting an upgrade. Because as incredible as the, as the OnePlus 7 Pro is, there is always room for improvement. It goes at the heart of what we do. Not necessarily striving for perfection, but to continuously make things better. That's what Never Sell is all about. So without further ado, this is the OnePlus 70 Pro. So first, the OnePlus 70 Pro has all the advanced features of the OnePlus 7 Pro, including the QHD Plus curved 90 hertz width display, a screen that you can't go back once you use it. And it's also borderless, thanks to the coolest and toughest pop-up camera. Remember this strength test we did with the 23 kilo concrete block. So let's take a look at the specs. 
to remain on top of the smartphone game, the OnePlus 17 Pro now boasts the powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus platform, backed up with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigs of UFC 3.0 onboard storage. Boom, UFS. <laughs> Here is your performance beast and your ultimate gaming companion. We also now have an improved battery of 4,085 milliampere, and the charging speed is now even faster with Warp Charge 30T and 23% faster, to be precise. And on top of that, we're introducing all the awesome features we presented before, like macro shooting, wide-angle video recording, and super video stabilization. And then the OnePlus 7 Pro comes with the Times 3 telephoto lens compared to the Times 2 with the OnePlus 7T. And it comes in a brand new slick fill finish. We're calling it Haze Blue. But we aren't quite done yet. There is one more thing about the OnePlus 70 Pro. And please, to tell you all about it, welcome Kate to the stage. Hey guys, let's take it up a gear. Today, we'll be taking speed, design, and smoothness to another level. The phone that we're about to unveil is the vision of OnePlus, inspired by our partnership with McLaren. <laughs> A relationship that has quite simply gone from strength to strength. Without a doubt, McLaren is the car of choice for drivers across the globe. And OnePlus is the phone for fans of technology. And as many of you know, in December last year, we showed the OnePlus 6T McLaren Racing Edition, the first partnership of its kind for OnePlus. I know you guys loved it, but I think this one is going to top it. Let's take a look. OnePlus and McLaren entered into this partnership to create a premium device by pushing design and performance. The OnePlus phone is for people who know. Well, the design mission for us in the studio is to build breathtaking products that tell the visual story of their function. We always use the top-of-the-line specs in our McLaren edition. The startup process of the phone to sort of like start up of a car. And the pattern on the back is using the same pattern on some of our cars. Bruce McLaren chose the Pire Orange over 50 years ago, and that color now comes through in the product. This is the OnePlus 70 Pro McLaren edition. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the founder and CEO of OnePlus, Pete Lau, and the CEO of McLaren Automotive, Mike Fluitt. This is the OnePlus 70 Pro McLaren Edition. It's beautiful, but check this out. Let's take a close up. Very cool. It's the coolest case we have ever made. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. <clears throat> so OnePlus has always Focus on fast and smooth, and then this partnership has taken its own another level. We are proud of this partnership and the opportunity to go, uh, work together in pushing the image of the design, performance, and the technology. We have learned a lot from each other, and uh, our shared spirit lives out in this product. 
Now I'd like to invite my friend and uh, partner Mike to tell you more about McLaren Edition. Thank you. Cheers, Peter. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. And hello, everybody. It, it's great to have the opportunity to be here in London with you all and to see the product of OnePlus and McLaren's partnership. McLaren's driving philosophy is all about delivering the thrill of driving through breathtaking products and experiences. We're about using innovative materials and technology to create a really emotional, emotional and engaging experience. The driver is always our start and our end point in everything we do. His or her experience is absolutely our focus. And that's down to the relentless pace. We never stop pushing the boundaries of what's possible, even to the smallest detail. Many of you will know that McLaren was first founded as a race team over 55 years ago. But we only founded McLaren Automotive and got into the business of rewriting the rules for sports cars and supercars, taking on the established players less than 10 years ago, just three years later than OnePlus was founded. So we shared that same startup, fast-paced, game-changing mindset, and it's reflected in our partnership and in the products that you see coming from that partnership. It's why our partnership with OnePlus works so well. And it's why I'm delighted to see that our supercars have inspired the latest limited edition device. We share a passion for industry firsts and for rewriting the rules and in the pursuit of excellence. And it's what's led us to this point here today. Okay, thank you. Let me welcome Pete back on stage. Thanks, Pete, Mike. thank you very much. Pleasure. Courage and bonus are qualities we share with our community. It's what makes the connection extra special. To celebrate this bond, we have a surprise today. One person here will win a OnePlus 70 Pro McLaren edition. Yes, that's right. One lucky person will experience the form before anyone else. Kate will tell you more about this and the amazing form we have created together. Over to Kate. Thanks, Pete. Thank you, Pete, and thank you, Mike. All right, stay tuned, and I promise I will tell you about it. But actually, first, I'm going to tell you about the phone. So this limited edition device celebrates both brands' relentless pursuit of excellence, pioneering technology, and purposeful design, all to bring you the very best of smartphone performance. For us, we think this can be broken down into four simple things. Courage, consideration, commitment, and confidence. So firstly, courage. Both OnePlus and McLaren began our journeys by being fearless. We jump-started our ambition. We challenged ourselves to do things that had never been done before and set new standards along the way. And it's in this spirit that the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition pushes the limits of hardware, software, and design. So, 90 hertz display, super fast, smooth like never before, and ultra responsive to the touch, just like a supercar. But let's take a look under the hood. The very latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, meaning foot on the gas performance and 15% faster graphics. 12 gigabytes of RAM, yes, that's right. <laughs> and 256 gigs of storage. That's a lot of storage in the boot. And so the design. McLaren's incredible supercars use a state-of-the-art composite material. For McLaren, put simply, weight and excess are the enemies of performance. 
And it's small changes in McLaren's attentions to detail that is true of the spirit of how OnePlus designs our phones. And we were so impressed with McLaren Automotive's ethos that we've applied it to the design of the OnePlus 70 Pro McLaren edition. We've applied a bold, striking papaya orange finish to the phone, the iconic McLaren color. It was the color of founder Bruce McLaren's first race team and is currently seen on the striking McLaren racing Formula One car driven by Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it along the edges on the camera module and also the notification slider. So secondly, consideration. Let's face it, phone hardware is nothing without considered software that puts the user experience at the heart. And it's something that both OnePlus and McLaren understand very well. If we take a look at McLaren supercars, every single detail is there to optimize the driver's experience. As Mike said, the aim is to put the driver in the center of the action by creating a cabin with unrivaled visibility, letting you focus on the road ahead. Does that remind you of a certain 90 hertz display? So this minimal distractions approach is something that we've taken with our software. It is lean and intuitive. Let me give you some examples. First off, when a notification comes in, the phone emits a marvelous blur of, pap of papaya orange, just like the streaking lights of a McLaren speeding past you at night. Isn't that cool? And we also have a streamlined user interface, which is modeled on the dashboard and exclusive live wallpapers and hints of papaya orange that go throughout the whole device. OK, commitment. So commitment for us means attention to the finer details, and that includes the case. So many of McLaren's supercars are crafted with Alcantara. Alcantara is a composite fabric that provides a soft and subtle feel made for durability and an unparalleled grip. And for the first time, we're using it in a phone case. <laughs> because how a phone feels in the hand is a big deal for us at OnePlus, and that includes the case. When you feel this, you will feel that the phone fits beautifully in the palm of your hand, just like a steering wheel. You'll get a better idea later when you play around with it, but you will notice that the grip and control is unlike something you've had before. So give it a try when you have a second. OK, let's flip the case and look inside. We've used a honeycomb design that creates tiny air pockets that helps with thermals and also shock absorption. And last but not least, Confidence. We feel that there is a place for quiet confidence. You can see this in our discreet, premium, and sometimes enigmatic packaging. Without saying too much and giving the game away, the OnePlus 70 Pro McLaren edition will not disappoint. But you will have to see for yourself. So I can't wait for you guys to go exploring. So who here wants one? Everybody? Well. Someone here is going to be the first. And so, let's reveal who it is. You guys all will have received a bag when you came in. Inside is a little box with a number. Let's have a look. Looking? OK. Have you got it? All right, let's see who it's going to be. Two, nine, three. Anyone over here? Well, don't worry, you don't have to come to the stage right yet, because I won't make you do that. But after the presentation, find someone from the OnePlus staff, and we will sort you out. Great. 
So there you have it, guys, the OnePlus 70 Pro McLaren Edition, brought to you, yes, with courage. That's great. But yeah. Brought to you with courage, consideration, commitment, and confidence. And so now, I'm going to hand back to Carl. Thank you, Kate. We're nearing the end of tonight's presentation. There's a couple of things that I want to mention before we wrap up. At OnePlus, we're big fans of gaming and PUBG. So we're delighted to make a gaming even better with the announcement of a partnership with PUBG Mobile. This hugely popular mobile game has captivated the hearts of millions of users worldwide. And with this partnership, we'll see an optimized gaming experience on OnePlus devices, making our phones the ultimate companion for your chicken dinner. We also frequently host gaming nights together with our community, where we play PUBG together. So with this partnership, we're looking forward to taking that even further. All right, so today we announced a couple of new products. We got the OnePlus 7T with our industry-leading 90 hertz fluid display, superior performance, and an all-new triple camera. We have the OnePlus 7T Pro, which is a true no-compromise flagship with a 2K 90 hertz full screen fluid display for those who want the very best. And we also announced the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren edition, featuring a unique design, signature McLaren materials, and an uncompromising 12 gigs of memory. We also updated... <laughs> Thank you. We've also updated the Bullets Wireless 2 in a new stylish olive green color. Yay. Thank you. And now, for what, the moment we've been waiting for, what's all this going to cost? The OnePlus 7T will start at 549 pounds. The OnePlus 7T Pro, 699. The 7T Pro McLaren Edition, 799. Whereas the Bullets Wireless 2 remain unchanged at 99. The OnePlus 7T series will go on sale starting October 17th, and the McLaren edition will be available starting November 5th from our partners and a range from our partners and also OnePlus.com. Finally, we'll be hosting pop-up events in the following European cities at these dates, together with our retail partners and Google. Pop-up events are a great way to celebrate the launch of a new device together with the OnePlus team, and it's also an exclusive opportunity for you guys to be the first to try and buy a new device. So we hope to see you there. So visit OnePlus.com for more information. And now, we're, ending the near, we're nearing the end of this event. I'd like to thank everybody who launched the OnePlus 7T series together with us, whether you're watching us online or you're here with us tonight. For those of you who are here, let's go and check out the new phones together.